There are so many expansion packs for The Sims 4 that they're literally coming out of our ears. But a lot of Sims players find them lacking and nearly always overpriced. There's a university pack coming out later this year and while it's been one that a lot of players have wanted for a long time, it doesn't mean it'll hold up to The Sims 2 University, which was, quite frankly, phenomenal. My name is Alice and I'm from Rock Paper Shotgun and today I'm here to talk you through some of my favourite fan made stuff packs custom content packs that are made by the community and uploaded for free. Sometimes these packs are only available through the creators' patreons, but all of the ones listed in today's videos are all free and available for you to download as we speak. All links for downloading these will be listed in the description. We've got a university pack, a kitchen pack, a Harry Potter style pack, and a pack that is completely out of this world. We've got some packs that fill a very sad hole in the current Sims 4 pack lineup, some packs that embellish the pre-existing packs, and others that downright outdo current Sims 4 packs. The Sims 4 community are a creative, smart, and forgiving bunch. We put up with a lot of disappointment from The Sims 4, but still we are loyal. What was that? Until Ignore that. But yeah, loyal. Very loyal. Not waiting in hope for any other game to come and give The Sims some proper competition, so maybe they'll start giving the community what they want rather than waiting for the community to do it themselves. Not at all. Oh, and we've recently partnered up with Display, producers of fine metal posters, to open our very own rock paper shotgun store. There's a link to our hand-picked posters in the description, everything from Cyberpunk to The Witcher 3, and if you do buy anything, a bit of that money comes back to the channel, so do have a look. If you liked today's video, why not actually give it a like, and why not subscribe to Real Proper Sims? That's what RPS actually stands for, by the way, or at least I'll have a good chance of changing our name if enough of you like this video. Join me as I take us and this sad, forlorn looking sim through some of the most incredible fan-made custom content packs that are out there. We're gonna spice up this sim's life for free! If you've watched my video where I go through my favourite packs from The Sims 4, you'll remember that one of the stuff packs I listed was the cool kitchen stuff pack. I love kitchens, heart of the home, etc, etc, so imagine my excitement when I found out that a whole fan-made stuff pack has been made, solely focusing on kitchens. The Kitchen is a stuff pack created by Harry and Felix Xander, who are both well known in The Sims world for their custom content and their incredible builds. And wow, this pack is amazing. It's got some amazing tiny details like a pestle and mortar, pots and pans, different style glasses, mugs, and even a little set of wine and some wine glasses. It's an incredibly detailed pack, and though it only comes with one counter and one island, the swatches are phenomenal and will fit in any style kitchen, any style house, and will fit with pretty much every colour scheme you can imagine. It's 56 pieces in total, the kitchen pack, purposefully missing a T by the way, has 64 counter swatches, has new meshes, edited Maxis meshes, and is entirely Maxis match, meaning that it looks as though it was created by The Sims team and doesn't look overly realistic. It's a stunning pack and one that I continue to use in all of my builds. It even comes with proper island and counter ends, unlike the absolute state of counters we've encountered in recent updates that didn't even look like they were finished, and the swatches were completely off. Look at these waterfall edges! Look at all of the matching and complementary swatches! EA could never? No. They can, they just take ages to do so. Some standout favourites are the cooker with no back bit, you know the bit, like this bit. You can seamlessly have it in an island, which could never have happened before. The resin and wood style table, the different height lights, and of course, all the plants. Look at them! They're so glorious! So green! There's so much going on in this pack, even the rustic chopping boards are gorgeous. I can't stop staring at it, and I can't wait to remake every kitchen in the whole game of this pack. So if you recently watched my review on the latest game pack for The Sims 4 Realm of Magic, you'll know I am no Potter fan. Well good job my sim here just loves Henry Puffer then really isn't it? Because the collection here is remarkable. And the best bit about this pack is even if you're not into all the wizardy bits, there are some swatches for both creator sim and build and buy mode that are completely not for people who are into magical stuff. The beds with separate duvet sets and bed frames are one of the best things about this, and so many custom content creators do this. So if it's that easy, why on earth aren't the Sims team themselves doing it? Weird. There are even readable books, and all of the furniture that comes in this pack has so many different placement slots for clutter. I was over the moon when the bed frame let me put cute bits and bobs all over it, and these fairy lights are to die for. And Pufferhead even includes brand new postcards to go with the theme of your room too. No more need for buy debug postcards, Pufferhead stuff has you covered. There are activity sets for children, toddler beds, and everything you could ever wish for when making your own Potter themed bedroom. Even if you're not, like I said, there are still plenty of things in here you can use to make your room feel as cosy as ever. 
The coziest stuff pack I've ever laid eyes on, and it's not even one that costs money. Honestly blown away by this pack, it even has a wizard's hat, which I noticed Realm of Magic was severely lacking, and look at all of these swatches. You can even take a test on the Pufferhead site, which lets you know which Harnox house you're in. You could be in Alpagard, Little Loof, Ivy Bell, or Owlin Moon. I was sorted into Little Loof, which is basically Hufflepuff, which I was a bit shocked by. I was definitely expecting to be in Owlin Moon. I'm totally a Ravenclaw. I'm not that soft. One of the biggest gripes in the Sims 4 community is the fact that the adults and teenagers look pretty much the same. Their clothes are the same, they're the same height, they interact in pretty much the same way, and coming from the Sims 2 and Sims 3 where their teenagers were amazing to this is a bit bleh. This is where Lumia and Synth come in. This pack isn't huge and it's all just creator sim stuff, which is fine as I'll be doing videos later on down the line which will include things that actually change gameplay. But the clothes are very teenager, which is cool. They break it down into the punk kid, the it girl and the athlete with the variety of clothes on offer here. But there are plenty of ways to interpret, mix and match and use each item of clothing as you see fit. I've made our sim a teenage daughter to showcase the feminine clothing, and yes I call it feminine clothing because as I noticed when making this sim change to a masculine frame, a lot of the clothes do not work across different genders, even when the masculine or feminine tags are removed. I really love the dual tone jeans and I'm gutted I can't put them on a feminine frame, but I digress. This pack is really good for giving you the opportunity to create multiple looks for different styles of sims with just one pack, much like the Pufferhead stuff pack. If you don't want them being too punky, those dual tone jeans also come in one tone. Or if you don't want your female teenager being an it girl, give her a fishnet bodysuit. Et voila! The Sims 4 Discover University is coming out later this year, but that doesn't mean it'll necessarily give us what we want or that we'll be able to afford it. Thankfully, a collection of talented custom content creators have made a whole university pack for us to download and use for free. And my, the art studio is fantastic. I'll give you the tour in a minute. This pack comes with a lot, from an actual campus building, which is 64 by 64, fucking massive mate, to some varsity jackets, some old Sims 2 by mode items recreated like this amazing emo poster you see here and this lovely little footstool for The Sims 4, and even some university-esque pose packs. All I did as a uni student was sit and talk on the grass. There was a lot of grass at my university. On to the big thing, which is the campus itself. It is amazing. It's massive and I would encourage anyone to have a look around it themselves. But there's a canteen, dorm rooms, a library, lecture rooms, the dean's office and so much more. The dorm rooms are usable to a degree. It's a library lot so obviously it's not an actual residential lot but you could easily get a group of teen sims practically living here as they'd have everything they'd ever need. A top tip would be to give this lot trait the teens hangout but it's been created using absolutely no custom content and is available to download through the gallery if you didn't want everything else with it. I'd recommend downloading the whole thing for the best university experience, but do bear in mind that the university lot itself is absolutely bloody massive and may struggle to run on lower end PCs. The last, but certainly, definitely not least pack on my list is the Stella Stuff Pack, created by Plum Bob Tea Society and here to enhance all of your out of this world sims lives. It comes with an absolutely whopping 127 items, from new hair meshes to a few oil slicked recolours of pre-existing EA hair meshes to this stunning look. Finally, we can create Spock, live long and prosper. There's new clothes, even including some children clothing, loads of new jewellery pieces including this mood ring septum piercing, it changes colours, what's it doing, judging the mood of your nose? And there's a whole heap of new makeup and tattoos too. And that's just creator sim. There's so much stuff in here that you could actually build a whole spaceship home if you wanted and why wouldn't you to be honest? This pack has actually made me want to create an alien family, move in and start doing alien sh** all over the place. And I'm not normally that bothered by occult sims. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, there's also a whole residential lot. It's exactly as spacey as you'd expect it to be, and it's everything you'd want from a top secret but not very subtle science lab. It definitely puts the Strangerville lab to shame, but who's surprised by that at this point? I'm gonna be honest, I almost didn't even give this pack a chance, just because I am so not bothered about sci-fi and space. But just like the other packs, there's so much room for creativity, and nothing is limited to be used for only one style of sim or house. Apart from maybe the mood ring septum ring. 
There are two extra packs that I was going to include here, but I didn't think quite match my criteria and my love for packs that are useful in every area of the game, but I still think they're worth a mention. One of those packs is the Duncan brand stuff pack, which will give a little extra sprinkle of sweetness to your restaurant lots, because who doesn't love donuts? You can get Baskin Robbins replica spoons and ice cream containers in this pack alongside various other recolors to really help you run your very own Baskin Robbins, whatever that means. And the other is the grilled cheese stuff pack, because grilled cheese. Every simmer knows the importance of a grilled cheese sandwich. There's a grilled cheese aspiration, so it makes sense for there to be a whole fan pack. From grilled cheese earrings to grilled cheese pajama sets, this pack has it all for the grilled cheese lover. I do hope at least one of these fantastic fan made stuff packs tickles your fancy because I think they're all pretty incredible. If you do like the look of any of them, links are in the description below this video. If you need any help with installing custom content or tray files for the buildings, do drop me a comment but chances are there's a very detailed YouTube video out there that can help you already. It's worth bearing in mind that although this is a video about custom content, the two lots mentioned do not use any custom content but do use items from other packs, so when you download them they may be missing things here and there. However, there's so much custom content around that you should be able to fill in the gaps where you feel you're missing something. And thanks again to Displate for sponsoring the channel, and please do use the link in the description to check out our Displate store. There's over half a million designs and Displate's unique metal posters are built to last and use a magnetic mounting system that doesn't involve drilling into your walls with power tools, which is always good. And not only will you be supporting the channel, but you'll be supporting the environment. For every Displate sold, 10 trees are planted, so it gets the Alice Ligori Eco Warrior thumbs up. If you'd like to see me cover even more custom content or modding stuff in The Sims 4, why not give this video a like? And let me know who your favourite creators are so I can have a look around and compile another great list like this one. While you're here, why not subscribe to RPS? The S doesn't stand for Sims, I'm working on it, don't worry, but we do cover The Sims pretty regularly and are planning on doing more stuff in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon!